Hello, and I just found a new project template from Unreal Engine. So far, it's on the source build, which is at Unreal Engine 5.8.0. So let's check it out. You will see here in the Unreal Engine browser, project browser, here it is, intro to Unreal. It also shows up in all the film and video level templates, the architecture, the automotive, and in the simulation. We also have a new simulation sandbox. We also have a broadcast here. This one's this one is also new. So let's go, let's check this intro to Unreal out. As you can see, it says here, this template takes you through the basics of the engine, including movement, adding objects to a level, and various types of assets you can create. So, let's check it out. So right now we are in, as you can see, you get, this is the main level. It's the only level that's there. There's only one. And this is what it looks like. So we are going to explore all these different rooms. Okay, so let us run it. Put on full screen. We are playing in editor. It's telling us, okay. So here, showing us what to do in the editor with the gizmo. Scale, rotate, move, just the basic stuff. We've come from there, so let's go up, let's move on. Then here, showing that we can add content. When we come in here, it triggers that, that little video there in the side. Because so it's saying that we place some content here because we won't be able to jump and continue. So, okay. What do we do? Escape. Mm. Got this. Place this here. Then I will press the end key. So that it snaps. Control D. Control D. Yeah. Okay. Then we play again. So let's go. Yeah, it's showing. That's what we did. Jump. We're on top of it. You can see we are money now. Then we move on. Okay, what next? The collision has been disabled for this ramp. Okay. So it is showing us what to do. If we walk in. Boom. Boom. Okay. So we select this. Go to the details. Let's just type "colli." Search for collision. No collisions. Block all. And then play again. Now, over the ramp. Next, let's see. Showing us the outliner. Okay, on the outliner. There's a hidden... There's a hidden object blocking our path. Let's see what's up. Yeah, force field. Mm -hmm. 
and I can see that it shows this effect based on how close we are okay so now Mm, okay there it is blocking volume just delete press delete then we move on let's play okay yay now we move on we got our we got our materials here it's showing different ones this is matte matte white frosted clear reflections kind of funky it's you can see it does not look like money here it's like he's wearing some luminescent blue suit then that is plastic up there with different uh, different roughness yeah then here we have our decal mirror reflection or oh, this is don't think this is a decal i think it's I, I don't know we shall look we can look at it later then this this must be a decal this light here then we have this orb here so it's saying move on particle effects you can see they even have collision they're colliding with the walls and doing the streak so you can even take it apart I guess going to the go into the project into the project and take it apart now we have meta sounds so the closer I get to this tuning fork you'll hear the sound Now here we have physics. You can hear it through the hear the sound through the walls passing through. Mm -hmm. Not much to do in this physics. Then now here, this is something that would have saved me a long time ago. When I was implementing this on Unreal Engine 4.27, I had to search and search and search around, but at least now we have a door that opens immediately when we when we get ne ne close to it. So at now you can even check its logic. And implement it on your own projects then this guy animation mirroring what we're doing back front side I wonder if it's using the that what motion matching I wonder if it's using motion matching I'm not sure jump jump does everything we do I even want I'd like to know how did they implement that but don't think it's complicated then now we have sequencer this is going to play a cutscene just like that and again
Yeah. Now this one, I don't know what it does. Ah. Oh, it's a trigger. For, it's a trigger for for the sliding door. You can see red says no entry. Green entry. Open. Close. Open. Templates and samples. Yeah, these are the templates, the thumbnails of the templates. They got physics too. Let's see. Yeah, there's Lyra, there is Stackobot. And this is the mobile, I have forgotten the name, but this is the mobile template thumbnail. As you can see, there's some parallax going on. So this must be a portal or something. You can see, that's what. Let me move slowly. It's like a portal, yeah. Let's look at that effect again. You can see. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's it. So, I will keep my eye on this. As I build the source build, I'm sure this will also get updated because they already updated it so quickly. Like this was not there, for example. Ah, oh, which one? Not here. Like this was not there, for example. It just said, just had the title there at the beginning and the WASD, but not the mouse. So yes, that's basically it. How I wish this was there when I was beginning because this would have helped a lot but now it's good to see that there are more simpler demos showing how Unreal Engine works without it be, without it being too complicated like Lyra which is a gigantic file you know with so much it's 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 only when it's only the people that it's only it's only the people that actually have have been using it for a long time I've, I've been using the game engine for a long time that won't get intimidated so this will really help newbies a lot yeah you can check the logic take things apart change things and all that and that's it thank you thank you for watching like and subscribe please